welcome back. It's swiping time. Yay. Haven't done a swipe for a while, hey? So I thought let's do it. Um, now, I do normally, well, and I shouldn't say normally, but in, in the past when I've done a lot of swipes, I've just used flow troll and paint. Uh, 2.5 times flow troll to one part paint, and that was pretty good. Um, but that was before I started using glue, and I'm just thinking what would happen if I used the, um, the glue mix, something similar to what I, I use. Um, and one of the lovely ladies on my acrylic pouring group, Jilly. Hi, Jilly. Um, she does some gorgeous pours with glue and water. Um, so mine is mine's similar. It's glue, water and a touch of flow troll. So I've just made up a little bottle here. 70% glue, 20% water, 10% flow troll. And I'm mixing that two parts pouring medium to one part paint. So I'm hoping that um, I'm going to get cells similar to what I'm doing in my flip and drags because I've been using the glue mix. So hopefully that um, is going to work for me with the swipes. Now, I've got a bit of a shadow there from these bottles, so let's, I'll tell you what the colours are. So I'm doing basically blues and black, and I'm going to swipe with gold, just for something different. So, marina is the light blue, and then my medium blue is called cool blue. These are all globals. And then I've got my deep space, which is the navy blue, and black. And then the gold is my metallic gold from Global. This is empty now, this bottle. I have to chuck it out, get another one. Right, so my swipe colour does not have any oil. I only just mixed it up. Look how bubbly it is. And metallics, you know metallics are always a little bit thinner than regular paints, so that one's just fine. My swipe colour I usually have as a touch thinner than my normal colours. So these... Um, it's thickened up again. This blue thickens up so fast. I just want to see a tiny mound. Not a mound on a mound like I do when I'm doing my flip cups. I'll bring this one up and show you. When I'm doing my flip cups, I like a mound on a mound. But for this one, I just want a little mound. Can you see that there? Does that make sense? It's just a little mound. Not a mound on a mound. So that's the thickness I want for my swipe. So, you know, I would do one to one um, when I'm doing my flip cups. And this is two to one. So it is thinner. My blue's thickened up again. So let's add some water to it. And I'm going to use treadmill silicone for cells, same as I do in my flip cups, same ratios, one drop per 30 grams or one drop per ounce, so nothing's changed there. Pretty much the only thing that has changed is my ratio, so two to one instead of one to one. That looks good. Let's try the navy. That looks good. Okay, so it's just this blue one that was being naughty. Right, so for cells, treadmill silicone. Um, and I have got 80 grams, no I haven't, 60 grams of pouring medium to 30 grams of paint. So that's 90, so obviously 3, 6, 9, we'll do 3 drops. And I can do it in the black because black's not my swipe colour. If I was swiping with black I wouldn't be putting any oil in it. But I think then the gold will go nicely over these um, blues probably going to get a bit of a greenish shade but that's okay blues and greens look nice together so give it a good stirring and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing a center of gold and then swiping that way and then swiping that way I'll I do prefer to do that. If you've seen my swiping videos over the past year, you will have seen me do lots of those. I really like them. 
and I've just got a sheet of plastic that I've cut up. It was a, a plastic document holder and I'm just going to swipe with that. And uh, it's nice and easy to use. It's got a good weight, not too heavy, not too light. And you can just wipe it when you're done and use it again. So that's what I like to use for my swipes. Right, let's do it. So, <clears throat> obviously I'm going to have gold in the middle. So gold over... Gold over what? Maybe you have navy first. And then the light. And then a bit of black and then a bit of blue. All right, let's do that. So, this one still feels a little bit thick now too. A little bit of a, a wriggle with the paint there. Same on the other side, leaving a little gap for my, my gold. You can do this however you like. When I drag, I do want the navy to go over the other colours, so that's why I'm doing stripes, so that my colours drag over other colours. And give me the multicoloured cells that we all want. Gee, I'm not exactly in the middle, am I? Goodness me. That's all right. Use up all your paint. Navy gone with my cloth. Always got to have a damp cloth handy, don't we? Okay, so the next one will be the light blue. Like so. Just keep that in there for now. Let's see if I want any more later. And then I'm going to drizzle some of this darker blue on below the light blue because when that drags over it will be really pretty just leave this little middle bit for my my gold and the black now because the navy is on there already I don't need a lot of black um, it's just going to be a really thin little drizzle, like so, just to help that gold pop. We don't need a lot of it. So I've got plenty of black there for my next pour if I want to do another one. And let's just fill in the little gap at the bottom here with some more of the leftover paint. Whatever you put on the bottom here is pretty much going to be swiped right off. But you do need to have your whole surface covered. This is just my little card or box board or chipboard, whatever. Depending on where you are, we'll determine what it's called. There is a link for it on my Australian Acrylic Pouring Group in the files. Couple of links, one for eBay, one for Amazon. So you guys won't keep asking me every day, what are you pouring on? So sorry if I don't answer you, I'm just I've answered it so many times, I'm just not answering it anymore. Fill in my little gaps. I am going to tilt and cover my surface, but I'm just using up all the paint. There's no right or wrong with this. Do whatever design you like. I do like having the stripes though, as I said, because when I drag the plastic down, it'll pull the paint over the other paint, and that's when I get my multi-coloured cells from. Make sure you've got your torch handy. We're going to torch to bring cells up. Hang on to my card. And we're just going to fill in some gaps. Got a little gap there. I did a little practice one of these last night. You might have seen the, the 
before on Facebook. I didn't do a video though, I was just trying it out, seeing as if it worked. It seemed to work. Actually, I should show you, shouldn't I? The cells have stayed in their space, in their little spot. Just part the waters there. Um, I'll show it to you quickly, the one I did last night, if you didn't already see it on Facebook. Mm. That's it there, it's just drying on a piece of baking paper. It's just a little guy, I was just practicing, so I just cut a piece of paper in half and did it on that, but it's really pretty. So hopefully I can achieve the same thing today. It's the same mix, different colours. Um, I'm a bit wary of the gold swipe because you just don't know what gold swipe is going to do. But um, let's do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of gold in the middle and I'm also going to put a little bit of gold down here because once you start swiping, um, at, when you get about halfway, all the gold's pretty much gone. So I'll put a little bit more here just so that we've got a good covering of, of gold. You don't need a lot of paint. Hopefully this is not going to be too much. Just a little bit. So I've still got a lot of black left and a lot of gold left so I can do another swipe if I want to. And I've got a little bit of blank canvas there so let's just cover that in. So I can see that the gold is a lot thinner than my other paint so hopefully it's not going to be too hopefully it's not going to be too thin hey a little bit of a gap there as well to make sure everything's covered so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just see if I can get half touch the plastic into half of that gold if I get some of the other colors that's not I'm not fussed on that so basically just touching the gold make sure that you've got good contact all the way through and slowly drag back. Missed a bit of contact on the side there. That's okay, I'll go over that later. So just wipe that off. Now I've got my little card here. This is just a paint sample chip from the hardware store. So I'm just going to touch that corner there and bring that through there. Same on the other side, but a little bit more gold there. I always seem to miss with these. The plastic's only just big enough to go over my card. It would be nice, I keep missing, it would be nice if I could get something a little bit bigger. So the gold, yeah, the cells are kind of a little bit more wobbly. You know how gold metallics make your cells a little bit more wobbly? You would have heard me say that. Um, but that's okay. It's just, I think it'll be really pretty when it's dry. It's not going to be that beautiful now when it's still wet, but once it's dried, I think it'll be really pretty. All right, let's just pop that into the, the gold there. And drag back. Take your time, it's not a race. That one didn't seem to have as much gold, did it? It's okay too. Um, so I'm just gonna put that somewhere. Now then, do I want to oh see this is the thing, do we want to touch up the gold or not? So if we start touching it up, you're gonna see. Oh, I just put my finger in it. You're going to start again. Can't pick it up. There we go. I think I'll just leave it for now because, as I said, if I start putting paint in there, um, it's not going to work too much. I'll just put a little bit here just to see how this is going to go here. I'm 
don't really want to continue it too far along. Just needed that little bit there. I think once it's dried, it'll look better. Just filling in that little gap there, you know, where the plastic touched and sort of left a bit of an indentation. Right. Once I torch, hopefully some cells will pop up in that area and sort of smush it a bit so that you can't see it. All right, let's torch just very lightly. Go slow, the same as you did with your flip cups. Just torch and wait. Don't get carried away. Just go nice and slow and just wait. Let's see what's going to happen. I think I liked it better with the dark swipe. I do tend to get a better result with the dark swipe. Um, but I just thought I'll see what happens with the gold, hey? Alright, let's go again. And wait. So under the gold here we've got these dark blue ones popping up. You know I had the navy first and then the lighter blue after that. So it's the gold the the blue that's popping up through the gold there. These little ones are gorgeous, aren't they? They've got the navy blue ring, then a light blue, and then a navy blue in the middle again. So just take your time with your torching. Wait, torch, wait, torch. So I think that'll be it. I don't want to over torch. Um, the cells will keep growing over the next probably half an hour. I've got some bright blue here. These are lovely. Look at these ones just there. Not really liking this bottom bit here. It's kind of a little bit messy looking. But um, if you guys like swipes, you'll enjoy doing doing these. And uh, it certainly does seem to work with this glue and water mix. So give it a go. I oh, know I shouldn't fiddle, should I? All right. Um, yeah, as I said, the the gold tends to make the cells a little bit more wobbly, um, not as defined round rings, but it's still still really pretty. I'm just going to go in the middle here, see if I can get anything to come through the gold. It's pretty thick there, so I don't think anything will come through. Not really. Okay, I'll take you in for a close up, see what you think. Um, but I think I do prefer the the other one with the dark um, swipe, but it's still really pretty. Uh, once it's dry, though, it'll look really nice. Once that gold uh, sort of shines, it just looks yellow now, doesn't it? But once it's dry, it'll come into its own, for sure. All right, let's take it down and have a look. Is it focusing? There we go, it's focusing. So, cells aren't the best with the gold swipe. Look at that one. It's got blue, then gold, then aqua, then gold, 
multicolors. These are pretty, these blue ones in the gold. Um, and then up here, multicolored ones. So I'll be doing some more swiping for sure. And um, I'll do another one without the gold. But that's the effect that you can get anyway with the glue and water and flow troll mix. Sorry about that light there. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Give it a go. Get your get yourself a piece of plastic. I just got it from um, the stationery store. Um, you can use um, you know, dividers, folded dividers, those little plastic ones. Cut up a document holder. As long as it's a plastic sheet, anything will do. Have a go. Alright, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.